Hi. Uh, last year, I purchased an MSR Dragonfly camp stove uh, for our family of four to replace our old uh, two-burner Coleman, primarily for um, canoe camping or other trips where we don't want to pack uh, such a big stove um, without sacrificing a lot of the things that the old Coleman could do. Uh, I thought the Dragonfly was a good compromise. It'll hold a, a big family-sized pot, and uh, so far, after a couple of trips, I've been very happy with it. But during my research, uh, I had a lot of questions that didn't seem to be answered by uh, a lot of the reviews I read online or the tech specs from MSR. So that's what I'm hoping to do in this video. So, a couple of the questions I'd like to answer today are um, how much fuel does it burn uh, and how loud is it? Because this stove is legendary for two things. Uh, one is its simmer uh, ability. You can turn it way down and, uh, and still keep a good simmer flame going without it going out. And uh, two is its deafening noise. So, I'd like to, uh, to try and quantify both of those. What I'm going to do first is weigh the stove and accessories. Now, uh, it, that does not include the pump. The pump's already installed in the bottle. So, everything that's in the bag here, and I'll go through that in a second, weighs 489 grams, 17.2 ounces. Now, like I said, I've already installed the pump and the fuel bottle. Uh, it's almost full. The fuel bottle is. I'm using white gas. Weighs 21.3 ounces. Or 602 grams. So this is what was in the stuff sack that came with the stove. The sack itself, the windscreen, the base plate, and I have a little binder clip here that I added to keep the windscreen together. The tool and repair parts kit. I have the uh, storage cap for the fuel bottle for when the pump isn't in it. And the stove itself. set the stove up and I've loaded up our pot with uh, two liters of water. I'm going to wait for that water to, uh, to come to a good boil and then I'm going to weigh the fuel bottle again and see how much fuel was used. Uh, just for the, the sake of it, I'm also timing how long it takes to uh, get to a boil, although that's not really the, the point of this. Um, if you want to get really scientific, we're at about 780 feet elevation above sea level and ambient temperature is about 47 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, about 7 or 8 Celsius I think. So to illustrate how loud the stove is, and uh, both valves are open up all the way so it's going full blast, I'm going to put, I uh, have a decibel meter here on my phone, I'm going to put it about 18 inches away right here on the edge of the table and see what, what kind of a reading we get. So anywhere from about 85 to 87. I'm going to walk about 8 feet away and see what we get over here. So eight feet away, it drops to about uh, 10 decibels to 75 to 77 or so. So it's been uh, almost eight minutes, and uh, we've got a good boil 
so in here. It actually started boiling in about 7 minutes 30 seconds. So, I'm going to shut the fuel valve. Let the uh, fuel burn itself out of the line. And then we're going to uh, wait the recommended five minutes before I disconnect the, uh, the fuel bottle. All right, I've waited five minutes uh, for everything to cool down before I disconnected the fuel bottle. Um, now we'll see uh, what it weighs. Five hundred and sixty seven grams, nineteen point nine ounces. So hopefully this inflammation information will uh, will help someone make a decision whether this is a stove for them or not. Uh, it's, it's worked really well for us.